hand up, left footed. Now Swinger looking towards Evans, and Fixan drops it, comes out to Daniels, it's blocked, and that was a good first chance for Bristol. Short, looking for Brazil, plays it back to Kagman, left footed, looking towards Lee, and Bagley pushes it back, and it's gone through net! And it's my Letizia that has put Brighton into the lead against Bristol. And if Bristol are going to stay up in the Women's Super League, they're going to come from behind. They can really drag back every single time. And it's taking a fast throw in. Here's Kaylee Green. She's going to go alone, drives it, swings it off target. Right in the into the middle of Gibbons. It falls back now to Green over the bar. Brighton players on the bench appreciate that. Clapping. This ball can go over to Cavisto. One on one. Bagley low and it's pushed back and it could fall back to Cagman. What a tackle there. Back to Sipkins. This is so dangerous for Bristol. It's blocked and Pike clears. Into Lee. They're all queuing up. Cagman. And it's just gone over. And it's a good ball. It's met for the far post. Lee for two. And it's found on its way in from the crossbar. She can celebrate this time. It's her goal. Brighton two. Bristol City nil. And it's what they deserve coming out in the second half. Chloe. Yeah, great run by, by Lee. She just floats into the box, doesn't she? And she goes really unnoticed by the Bristol players. And the power that she put on that. Bad Bagley had no chance then. Oh. This is Bristol. Trying to walk all their way in. Finds a pretty good ball looking towards Yonder Daniels and Fisher Strand. It's Harrison who's come off the benches, pulling the strings. Bristol just turning the screw a little bit. It's launched in. Looking to the far post. Daniels is up. Looking for Harrison. Is that in? It is. Lifeline for Bristol. They've got to go back. She has given the goal. She has given the goal. Yeah, yeah, she has given the goal. Bristol won. Brighton two. And that's the first time that Bristol have really shown intent to go forward and be aggressive in their play. They deserve that goal. Letizia. She's not giving his three on her. Oh, she still wriggles around. Finds a shot and it's not on target. Surely to definitely send Bristol into the championship. It's Kangman. And it's into the net. And that probably is it for Bristol. Into the wall, deflected, and Bagley flat-footed. And it went right past her. It's Brighton women three, Bristol City one. Salmon. It's Salmon finally looking to go clean on goal. She's up against Cavisto, waiting for Harrison. It's 77. Oh, just over. Matt, a disappointing afternoon for your side. Defeat here at the People's Pension Stadium ultimately means relegation to the Championship. Yeah, look, obviously we're devastated. I think you can just see the reaction after the game. Um, you know, look, the players have left everything on the pitch today. Um, it's not through the want of trying, but unfortunately um, we just couldn't cross the line in, the, in this relegation battle. And um, I've said all week and I've said sort of prior to this that to put ourselves in this position you know, the players deserve an enormous amount of credit considering where we were when I come in. Um, obviously, it's bitterly, bitterly disappointing, but, you know, it's something we're after, obviously, you know, get today out of the way and then tomorrow's a new day and we, we, we deal with it from there. It seems as though your side struggled to kind of get going today and get a real foothold in the game. But we started well and then we've conceded early, you know, from a set play, which doesn't help, obviously, the situation and circumstances that you're in. And then after that, we just... We didn't do the fundamentals of our game well enough. You know, there was still, what, 85, 86 minutes at that point. Um, after that, for us to do what we needed to do, and, you know, it's, just, it's frustrating, but we're a young team, um, and, and we'll learn from experiences like this. You touched on it earlier on, to bring, this, to bring yourselves back into the fight from where you were at Christmas shows that it wasn't just today's result that's impacted it. There's been numerous events across the season and it's just one step too far today. Yeah, no, I agree. Look, I think if you look at maybe some of the games where we could have got more points, you know, the West Ham away one, especially Birmingham away, um, you know, where we're in front and we've been pegged back and 
we've had some unbelievable chances in the games to win it. It's, it's not about today, it's about the whole season, you know. Um, and we've, we've got a small squad, we've got a young squad. Tanya had a lot of issues with injuries at the start of the year. When I come in, fitness was a big issue. Um, but we've worked incredibly hard to get ourselves in this position. And as I said, I'm just desperately disappointed we couldn't cross the line today. And, you know, I'm, I'm gutted for the players, I'm gutted for the staff, and I'm gutted for the club. Everyone, yourself included, staff, players, worked incredibly hard behind the scenes to get themselves in that position. And it's going to be another hard work, another summer of hard work building towards a season in the Championship. Yeah, listen, it's, um, we can't change it now. So as I said, once, once it's, it sets in and, you know, tomorrow's a new day and we've got to make sure that, you know, we, we learn from some of the things that have happened this year and, you know, we, we, we regroup and we go again.